Evening, good evening, good evening again, man. I want to welcome you guys back to the Conversation 9-8, and I'm so excited and happy to be back uh, this week. I know last week uh, wasn't uh, wasn't on there uh, last week due to uh, the celebration of my the life of my brother, and uh, just happy to be back before you, and I just, just want to come out and say how grateful and thankful I am for everybody that was supportive of the family that uh, reached out, offered their condolences and and, and prayers and, and, and words of encouragement. It truly means a lot. And I'm so grateful and thankful for you and all who reached out for the family. Uh, it means a lot. And I just wanted to just say sincerely say thank you all uh, for that. But again, man, looking forward to the conversation for tonight. Uh, and it won't be before you long, but just excited for another opportunity to discuss some real stuff. Uh, and tonight, I think tonight conversation was inspired by my uh, my mom and my brother. Uh, shout out to my mom, Mama D. Shout out to my brother, Eric. Uh, love you guys, man. Uh, you guys were very, uh, um, very, um, in you inspired me to talk about the, uh, what we talked about, what are we going to talk about tonight? But again, thank you guys so much for, uh, for, from my family during this time. Uh, it means a lot. And I just want to thank you all, uh, for that. But again, um, Hey, we just really appreciative of getting a chance to spend some time with, uh, with family, uh, during this time. And I'm grateful. So grateful. Uh, most importantly, I get to see my kids and my grandkids. So that's a, that's something that I'm truly excited about. Um, but we're going to go ahead on and get on and talk about the topic tonight. And in the topic tonight, we're going to uh, start off uh, and just go on what it says, right? Um, we can acknowledge the choices we make, but struggle with accepting the consequences. And one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about that tonight, because in life, there are many times in life that we make decisions and we have to make a lot of decisions in our lives. Everybody, we all do, Right. And some of those decisions can be the best decisions that we can make in that moment. And they can be the best decisions, right? But from those decisions, many of us, we struggle with accepting the consequences from those decisions that we make, right? And when we struggle to accept those consequences, one of the things when we struggle to accept those consequences, it, it, it can be hard to accept in those because even though a situation may be the best, best choice to make, a decision may be the best choice to make in that moment long term it can have lasting impacts and that lasting impact is something that many of us struggle with we struggle to come to term with to accepting those uh consequences from those choices and it takes a lot of us it takes a lot of us a long time to heal from that it does right it does that is something that it takes us a long time to heal from why why you say that right many of our choices that we make um, and, and the decision that we make, the consequences of them, we don't, in that moment, it's the best decision. But many of us lack the foresight to see the weight of the consequence, the weight of that consequence uh, that it can be in the future. And sometimes, you know, we don't have the, the foresight or we may not even have the time to, to think about that. And we make that decision in that moment, but it has a lasting impact. And we don't know the second and third uh, 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 levels of impact that it can have on us as individuals and on others. And even though the intentions may be well, the impact of those consequences can really, really weigh a lot of us down. And we have to learn to get to a space to where, guess what, even though I acknowledge that I made that choice, there's some work that needs to be done to, uh, uh, to be able to handle the burden or the weight of the consequence from that choice. That's what it is. We have to be able to do that. And I know it's hard. It's hard for many of us to get to that space. Um, it's hard for us, many of us, to get that space because it's a struggle. It is a struggle. It's a struggle. It's something that many of us deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm talking about real stuff. I'm not talking about this lightweight stuff. I'm talking about real heavy stuff, stuff that many of us deal with, stuff that many of us have to overcome, stuff that many of us uh, in our lives, we are struggling with even to this day, right? Even to this day. Um, and, and one thing that I've learned is, um, you know, there are many that are carrying the weight 
and I mean carrying the weight of the consequences of their choices. They are carrying the weight of the consequences of their choices, and they struggling with that weight because it, that because the, the the burden of dealing with that consequence of their choices that they make for out re, uh, outweighs the decision that they had to make in that moment. And because it outweighs that, it's a struggle. It's a struggle because the conflict come in is that you made the best decision in that moment. And you know it was the best decision in that moment. But you struggle with even you struggle with it because even though I made the best decision, I'm still struggling with the consequences from that decision. Because the weight of that consequences is too heavy to bear sometimes. And because it can seem too heavy to bear, right, we have to get to a space that we can make peace and forgive ourselves and acknowledge that, guess what? It was the best decision. It was the best decision. Hey, Ms. Jaredine, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you so much. It's appreciated. But yeah, it's the best decision, right? Um, because it's hard for a lot of us to forgive ourselves from decisions and choices that we made in our past that was the best decision at that moment. But as we lived our lives, the burden of those choices, right, weighs heavy on us and we we struggle with how do we manage and how do we deal with it, right? And the best way to manage and the best way to deal with a lot of that, 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 that our choices is first get into a space to where we learn to forgive ourselves. Because guess what? We can't go back and make that change, right? We have to walk in the truth of knowing that that was the best decision I could make, I, I made in that moment. Based off of these options, that was the best decision. Or I had the best intentions on the decision that I made. But the outcome of it may be something different, but you have to forgive yourself because you got to rest and sure that you made the best decision in that moment. You have to forgive yourself. You got to get to that space. It is so important of getting to that space. You have to. You know, uh, there are many of us that have made choices in our lives that we haven't told nobody about, that we intend to carry to our grave. There are many of us that made the made some decisions that impacted the lives of those that we truly love and we, we have connected with, right? And we we have to carry, we carry that weight and that burden in silence because that burden from the consequences of that decision, we carry it in silence because we don't want nobody else to know. But I tell you, one of the spaces to get there, to get to a space where you can operate and, and you can function is that, and that is you have to get to a space where you learn to forgive yourself. You learn to say, you know what, this is what I did. Yes, I acknowledge that I did it, but I can struggle with the consequences, but I have to accept the fact that it was the best decision at that moment. And it was it's OK to realize that it may not have been the best decision to make, but you still made it. So forgive yourself. You still made it. So forgive yourself. It is so critical. I mean, it is so critical. And I my prayer is that I hope that this blesses somebody. I hope that this blesses somebody that's watching this that may be struggling with trying to figure out, man, what in the, how can I forgive myself? I made that decision. I made that decision. But how can I forgive myself? What can I do? Right? Because some of us have made decisions to uh, some hard decisions. Some of us have made decisions to uh, give up a child. Some of us have made decisions to uh, move away. Some of us have made decisions to uh, that has called relationships to uh, dissolve, or some of us has made decisions that was for the best of us, but that hurt other people. And we struggle with that. And we're trying to figure out how in the world can I get over this, right? How can I, how can I work and I process this? And one thing I can tell you is you have to, you have to get to a space to say, you know what? My intentions when I made that decision wasn't a negligence, wasn't one of malice, wasn't one to hurt somebody. I made it because that was the best decision or one of the best options that I had at that time. And once you get to that space, you have to say, hey, I forgive myself for making the best decision I could make in that moment. That's what you have to get to. Ms. Geraldine said, I said to myself a few minutes ago, let it go. 
because it's the past that keep on dwelling on. It only hurts you. Yes, ma'am. That is so good. That's so good. That's so good. And I'm glad you said that because um, it's something to think about. But, you know, many of us struggle with accepting the consequences for the choices that we make because we continue to try to relive, relive the past. We continue to relive the past in our heads and we try to, in a sense, we get frustrated because we have the foresight and the, the, the wisdom and the 2020 vision of tomorrow uh, on the other side of the decision that we didn't have at the, or before uh, we made the decision. And we beat ourselves up because we want, I want the ability to go back and make a different choice. But guess what? We can't go back in the past. And like I said uh, at my brother's funeral, time is a gift that you can only experience once. And with that, right, with that experience that a gift once, we only get a chance in that moment to make one decision. And that decision may be favorable. There may be some consequences that's hard to deal with. But we got to rest assured and be comfortable enough to say, you know what? I'm not going to dwell in the past. I'm going to learn from the past, but I'm forgive myself for it. And I'm going to forgive myself for it so I can walk in my presence and walk in the fullness of my presence. Walk in the fullness of it, right? Because it's so it's so imperative that we we learn to do that. It is so it is very powerful and it is very important that we we learn to truly and honestly forgive ourselves. Many of us walk around so much in a space to where we are condemning ourselves for decisions that we made when we wasn't emotionally mature, when we probably was in a depressive state, when we was emotionally unstable, when we was dealing with a situation of circumstances that was not normal, that was abnormal, right? And we make decisions in those moments that guess what? Were the best choices that we could think of at that time or some of the best options that we had at that time. And it's important for us to realize, guess what? I made the best choice I could make in that moment. Now, I can't go back and change that choice, but guess what? I can work forward from now to do everything I can to mitigate the consequence and, and, and do, do better. Because guess what? We can't go back and change that. We, can't, we cannot go back and change that choice. We can't go back and change that decision. We cannot do it. We cannot do it. But just because we can't go back and change the decision, that does not that's that is not a death sentence or a life sentence for us to continue to wallow or stay dwell in the uh, frustration. Right. Or the guilt of making that decision. We got to learn to forgive ourselves for certain choices that we make, because many of us, we we, we dwell and we stay in the past, man. We don't look at the, we don't, we, we stay stuck looking in the past, dwelling on decisions that we make that impact our ability to make decisions in the present that impact our future. And we stay in that space because guess what? We stay in that space because we aren't, we don't know how to forgive ourselves. And a way of forgiving yourself is just, first of all, not only acknowledging, but saying, you know what? That was the best decision. And I made it. Take ownership of that decision so that you can move on and make better decisions moving forward. Because you owe that to yourself and you owe that to those around you. You owe that to yourself and you owe that to those around you to learn to forgive yourself, to learn to say, you know what? Mm, that one, that may not have been a good decision. And I regret doing that decision. But sometimes, mm, sometimes we got to look at this. Sometimes, even though we may regret making that decision, we have to accept the reality that that was the best decision and the best outcome from that situation. Some of us find ourselves in situations where it just there's not that is not a good choice. The options that we have aren't good, right? We 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 find ourselves in a rock and a hard place, and we make decisions. And there are consequences on both decisions. There are consequences for making the decision. Just say that's a, a uh, you made you made the decision to give up a child, right? And I'm using some. You made the decision to give up a child, and the consequences is right that child may have resentment towards you because you made a decision to give them up. But if you're on the other side, if you kept the child and you weren't in a good space to keep them, that child may have resentment towards you because you ended up giving them up or losing them because you weren't in the space to be able to keep them. 
that's finding yourself in a rock and a hard place. And in those decisions, you have to accept, you know what? Sometimes I can handle what making the, the consequence for making the best choice. I will be able to handle that, right? Even though I may not like either decision, but I made the best choice for all parties involved. Uh, Ms. Geraldine said, we cease to enjoy the now because we stay too long in it. Yeah, we stay too long in the past. Yes, ma'am, we do. Yes, ma'am, we do. Um, but I, I'm telling you, so many, it's it's a lot, man. It's a it's it is a lot. It is a lot. I mean, uh, and I know there's usually uh a, a topic that a lot of people don't talk about, but um I, I felt led to talk about it, right? We have to, there are many of us that need to learn to forgive ourselves from decisions that we made that we are ashamed of even admitting that we made them. There are some choices and some life choices that we made, and it's hard for us to even come public about it because we're carrying that guilt. And that guilt been with us for years after year after year after year. And we need to get to a space to where not only we acknowledge, right, but we accept the fact that, hey, I made that decision and you can forgive, right? It's foregoing, like forgiving yourself is one of the hardest things to do because it's it's easier to let go what others did to you than it is to let go what you did to yourself. So it's it, we got to get to that space to say, you know what? I'm going to let this go and I'm going to face it and process it so that I can heal and move on with my life and move on with my life and move on to a space where I can get to a better space mentally. Like, and I'm really been talking about this and, 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 you know, a lot of us, you know, <laughs> many of us just operate where we become functional in our dysfunction and we live our life and we smile. And what we try to do is we try to suppress and we try to compartmentalize a lot of things and a lot of stuff that we struggle with. And we try to suppress it and put it to the side while we live in our lives, right? But we we always feel like that no matter what we do, there's always something pulling on us, right? That's not allowing us to a space to where we can uh, fully walk in the fullness of, 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 of what we know our life should be, right? And a lot of that is because we are carrying the weight of unforgiveness, especially to ourselves for choices that we made. And we got to start with cutting those ties to those choices. We got to start to say, you know what? I'm not going to carry this. I'm going to deal with it, but I'm not going to continue to carry this because this is impacting my life and the life of those that are connected to me and around me. And I want better for myself and them. I want better for myself and them. Hey, good afternoon, mama. How you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. It means so much. But I just wanted to, man, I really wanted to deal with it. I really wanted to dive into that. I really wanted to jump on this because this is a, a topic that, that um, um, you know, like I said, we can accept our choices, right? But we struggle with dealing with the consequence of our choice, right? And many of us, we can accept it. We can acknowledge, yeah, I made that decision, right? But no, we got to get forgive ourselves, right? Really, really forgive ourselves. Uh, uh, I am worthy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, th it, it's this is something that's very powerful, and I think it's hard for many of us. But uh, it's hard for many of us. But it's, we have to get to a space to say, "I am worthy of forgiving myself." I am worthy of forgiving myself. I may not feel like that I am deserving to be forgiven, but you are worthy of being forgiven. And we have to get there, right? And get to that space mentally that we can speak that to ourselves to the point to where we can get to a space to say, you know what? I forgive myself. I may not be deserving, but I am worthy. And because I am worthy, I am going to do the things I need to do to forgive myself. I'm going to acknowledge that I made the choice. Not only that I'm acknowledge that I made the choice, I'm going to begin to work towards forgiving myself. And not only work towards forgiving myself, I am going to get the courage to go to the people that that may have uh, may have been impacted by my choice to make it right. 
It'll make it right because it's necessary. I didn't say that you have you are responsible for their the, how they receive it. No, because watch this, right? Many times making it right with people has nothing to do with the outcome of how they receive you going to them. Sometimes making it right, going to make amends with people is that you acknowledging and you getting the courage to go say, hey, look, I acknowledge that the decision that I made may have impacted you negative. And I take full ownership of how I impacted you negative. And I'm not taking nothing from that. But what I do want to communicate to you was my intentions behind that decision wasn't one that was malice. My intentions was all well worth it. My intentions was all uh, 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 well natured. They was made for the best of it. But guess what? It The impact of that, the consequences of my choice came out impacting you differently than my intentions did. So I take ownership of that. And I want to tell you that I apologize for that. And I'm willing to address myself and my, my role I played so that I can heal and we can heal and I can move on and we can move on. I'm telling you, that is necessary because guess what? If we don't do it right, many of us, we will stay stuck in the, in, in the cycle over and over again to where we just live in our lives and we living, right? We are, we are existing, but we're not living. And we, mm, too many of us take uh, unhealed things to the grave because we are unwilling to accept the consequences of our choices and accept the role we played in making our choices, right? We carry those things and people carry those things and we got we got relationships, uh, we got marriages that people go to the grave because they have un, undealt with things because uh, uh, people don't want to acknowledge, acknowledge certain uh, uh, consequences for certain choices. We got uh, siblings, we got uh, parent and child relationships and people take things to the grave. Is it too long? Like that is stuff is too heavy to carry. And it's time for us to get to a space to say, you know what? I am more than willing to, to put my pride aside to come to you to make things right. Because the enemy wants us to stay in a space to where we're all at odds with each other so that he can have uh, reign and he can rule and manipulate that to make us hate somebody that really the hate ain't even there. It ain't even there. And he wants us to be in that space, but we can make the decision to do better in that. Uh, my mom said existing or surviving rather than living. She said, good. God wants us to live. That's why he asks us to give, give it to him. Yes, ma'am. To give it to him. To give it him. And, and listen, I can go even deeper, uh, but I just wanted to kind of, kind of, kind of say this, but, uh, you know, we 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 got to understand that um and, and i know it's hard it's hard for some uh hope it's hard it is very hard for for some uh it's very hard for many to get to a space uh to where you know we can just be be fully transparent and take ownership of our choices it's hard for many people to say i'm wrong it's hard for many people to even acknowledge that, that how to get to a space where they even would acknowledge how their choices impacted somebody else. And, and I will tell you, if you're one of those people to where your choices impact, if you made a decision that impacted others negatively, right? Don't get to a space of where you feel in, uh, uh, um, entitled enough to act like it's somebody else's problem. No. You yourself need to take ownership of the role you played in making that decision and how it impacted others. Because many of us make the choices that impact other people and other people have to deal with the consequences of your choice and they didn't have anything to do with you making that decision. So you don't feel uh, 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 self-righteous enough to act like, you know, they just should accept it as is. No, you made a decision that impacted them. You wouldn't like somebody else making a choice that impacted your life. So why do you feel like they should accept yours? They shouldn't. So we just got to get to a better space. And I hope that everybody have a great, great weekend. I appreciate everybody tuning in, rocking with your boy. It means a lot. You guys have a wonderful week. Look forward to it. Have a blessed weekend. God bless. <laughs>